In this video, I share with you the incredible potential of ChatGPT for helping you with inspiring ideas for teaching vocabulary. We will explore interactive prompts and the responses. This will not only save your time and effort, but also spark your imagination. I'll also share my favorite prompt that has greatly increased student engagement in my classes. So let's dive in. Number one, definitions. The first vocabulary prompt focuses on key terms and their definitions. This can be particularly helpful for students learning a new language or those who need to learn technical vocabulary in a specific field. Throughout this video, I will use the topic of climate change as an example for the prompts. And here is the first prompt. I am a high school teacher and I'm introducing my students to the topic of climate change. Provide a list of 10 key terms that students need to know in alphabetical order. Now, if you have the content, simply copy and paste the content and ChatGBT will select the key terms. You can also ask about the rationale behind ChatGBT's selection of specific terms. This will help you provide a clear explanation of the significance of the terms to your students. Number two, translation. Depending on the proficiency level of your students, ChatGPT can provide you with translations for a range of terms. Let's try it here. Provide the Arabic translation for the above terms. As Arabic is my first language, the translations are quite accurate. However, it's always advisable to double check the information for complete accuracy and reliability. Number three, collocations. Collocations are word combinations that frequently occur together. Learning about collocations is important for fluent and accurate use of language. They not only broaden students' vocabulary, but also significantly enhance their overall comprehension skills. And here is the prompt. Add collocations to the above terms. And here we have some common collocations used with the key terms. Number four, examples. ChatGPT can provide examples of words in context. Let's choose renewable energy as a term. Provide two examples of renewable energy along with example sentences to provide context. So it provided us with two sources of renewable energy fully explained. Number five, synonyms and antonyms. Introducing synonyms and antonyms can help students expand their vocabulary and learn how to use words in different contexts. Provide synonyms and antonyms of the term renewable energy. And here are some synonyms and antonyms. Very interesting. Number six, quizzes. ChatGBT can help you create vocabulary quizzes for students to practice their knowledge. Generate a vocabulary quiz with answers using five keywords and their definitions about climate change. In just a matter of seconds, here is a multiple choice quiz ready with answers. Let's try a different question type with more detail. Create a fill in the blank quiz about climate change for grade 10, five questions, high level of difficulty. And here we have a quiz that the students can complete answers are provided as well. Number seven, idioms and expressions. Idioms and expressions are commonly used in everyday conversations. By teaching them, learners become better equipped to understand and use these language elements, leading to more effective and natural communication. Make a list of 10 idioms and expressions related to climate change. For each expression in the results, it also shows us how it can be used. Let's read number one. Tip of the iceberg, often used to express that we are only seeing a small part of a much larger issue. In this case, the effects of climate change. Number eight, activities. This is my favorite prompt. ChatGPT is a treasure in finding new ideas for class activities. It has greatly increased student engagement in my classes. I like how it provides me with a range of activities that I can choose from and further customize to my class grade and context. 
Give me five ideas for vocabulary group activities for 10th grade students on the topic of climate change. Here are the suggestions in the result. Climate change charades, word wall creation, crossword puzzles, climate change debate, and storyboarding a climate change scenario. This last one sounds interesting. Let's ask ChatGPT to tell us more about how to use it. Give me more specific instructions for number five. Wow, it provided us with the materials needed, step-by-step -step instructions, and even optional extension activities. Number nine, story, poem, joke. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. ChatGPT is simply amazing when it comes to providing you with engaging stories, poems, and jokes. I will show you an example of a story, but you can use the same prompt to generate poems and jokes. Write a story that includes the key terms of climate change for 10th grade students. And here is the result. Title, The Unraveling Thread, A Tale of Climate Change. Briefly, the story is about a young girl called Mia. Mia teaches everyone at her school about saving the earth from getting too warm. And soon, kids all across the country are helping too, turning a scary story about our planet into a hopeful one. Number 10, chats and conversations. Chats and conversations help learners develop authentic language skills and understand vocabulary in context. Write a chat conversation between Adam, a student, and their classmate, Sarah, who is struggling to understand the key vocabulary related to climate change, specifically the term global warming. And here is an example of a conversation that you can definitely use in your class. Let's read part of it. Adam, hi Sarah, how is the study going? Sarah, hi Adam, it's all right, but I'm having some trouble with the climate change topic. I'm particularly confused about the term global warming. Isn't it the same as climate change? Adam, I can understand why you'd think that. They're indeed related, but there's a difference between the two, and so forth. Number 11, lesson plans. ChatGBT is an excellent resource for crafting lesson plans that are both engaging for the students and enjoyable for you to teach. Here is one prompt. Generate a lesson plan 50 minutes for 10th graders to teach key vocabulary related to climate change. And the result. This plan has got it all. It's truly comprehensive. It includes the objectives, materials needed, introduction, presentation, the activities, homework, assessment, and even accommodations. Very impressive. If you want to learn about more tools that can help you create engaging lesson plans, check out this video. It introduces you to the top five AI tools for teachers. So here you are, 11 example prompts that you can use to generate interesting ideas for your lessons. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing for more content. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.